Okay, in this movie, what we're going to do is look at how to change presets in some of these instruments. And uh, we'll start with the ES2 here. So I've got a track selected, and I'm going to go ahead and insert the ES2. And it's pretty straightforward how you do it to change a preset in the ES2. This is the drop-down menu for finding a preset. And these are the different categories of sounds available to you. So you might say, for example, under atmospheres, uh, something called aquaplane, which could sound like this. And then you can check out a few more sounds just by calling them up. Here is glider wave. And like so. There's some shortcuts that you can use from the key commands menus to help you out as well. If we open the key commands, I've assigned the letter N to next plugin setting or EXS instrument and the letter B to previous plugin setting or EX instrument. That's just a fast way to step through a bunch of different presets and check them out quickly. So I might go to the pads, for example, and start with Astral Pad and see what that sounds like. And then hit the letter N, takes me to the next preset. And N takes me to the next one. And like so, and I can keep hitting N and stepping through them, or I can hit B and go back through them if I want to. And it's a fast way to audition a bunch of presets and find the one you want. The EXS it's a little different than some of the other instruments because it has a little different file menu system here. If you open the EXS sampler, you don't use this drop down menu to open the presets. You use this drop down menu from within the instrument. This is where you find all of the uh, EXS sample instruments. So you might find a, uh, a category called textures, for example, and under cinematic textures, go find uh, something interesting like this is called ambient effects too. And you can switch to audition maybe atmospheric effects. And in the key command menu, because that key command N and B meant next plugin setting or EX instrument, I can use N and B to step through the EXS instruments as well. Keep in mind it's a little slower because for every instrument it needs to load all the samples. So I hit N and that went pretty quick and I hit N and it just takes a little bit of time maybe to find a few samples. I'm going B, going back through them. And you can see that one took a little longer to find because it had more samples maybe and like so. So you can step through and find uh, the presets you want that way as well. If you prefer, you can have plugin setting and EXS instrument be separate key commands. You can see that I personally don't really use that. I just use N and B mostly for stepping through either presets or uh, EXS uh, sample instruments. So that's a bit about working with the presets in the ES2 and a lot of the other instruments and then the EXS24, a little bit different.